I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw papel picado, which is a traditional paper banner for Latino heritage. We're going to make ours a little bit different because that's just the way I am. So I take one finger in the center at the top, put a dot. On the left, put a dot. On the right, put a dot. Starting up here at this dot, we're just going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, straight line out, straight line down, leave it floating. Bring it down so that you end up with straight line across, a pretty good size rectangle. Coming back to the left, we're going to draw a big curve line up, over, connect, and now we're going to draw that line again. Big curve line down, over, up, connect. Now we come up on the top and we draw a skinny rectangle. Straight line, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Inside, we're going to draw one, two. One, two. These are going to be stripes. One, two. One, two. All the way across. One, two. One, two. One, two. Keep going. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay? Now we start up here at the top and we draw a curve line. Two, three, four, five. Come on the left hand side. We're going to draw a curve line. Two, three, four, five. Connect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inside, we're going to draw a baby curve line. Two, three, four, five. Now on the left, one, two, three, four, five baby curve lines. Now in this space right here, mine might be a little bit squished, put a dot. We're going to draw a little curve line up, out, back, and connect. Right here at the end, one, two, three curved lines, put a dot. Right next to it, put a dot, curve line up, down, up, back, connect. Right here on the end, one, two, three three curved lines, put a dot. If you have room, I think I can squeeze one more, put a dot, curve line up, down, up, down, up, over, connect. Now I'm going to draw one, two, three curved lines. Right here, put a dot. Now I come inside and let's start right about here. Put a dot and we're going to draw a straight line. Curve line up, curve line down, curve line into a spiral. Right at the spiral we're going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag and leave it floating. Come back over here to the front. We're going to continue that straight line. Straight line down. Big curve line in. Straight line, curve line down. Bring it down over, up, down, connect. On the bottom, right here, zigzag, 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 zigzag. And right here, big curve line down, up, connect. If you can put one little zigzag right up the top, put a curve line inside and connect. Okay. 
come right about here and we're just going to go straight line spiral and right here right about here we're just going to draw another spiral come up to the top over here little straight line out straight line over and connect right here at this point big curve line out and we're going to mimic these lines all the way around up all the way around up and connect come right inside here put a dot we're going to draw a curve line out down up connect and let's just draw another curve line floating right here on the left put a dot curve line down come back to the dot curve line over and connect right on top straight line zigzag zigzag straight line down connect come on the right hand side put a dot curve line down curve line down connect straight line up zigzag zigzag straight line down connect if you have room right here we're just going to go straight line straight line straight line up connect zigzag 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 connect baby circle baby circle baby circle baby circle baby circle right about here we're just going to draw some straight lines in the background with our black keep going keep going keep going okay oops naturally I forgot something come down to the bottom we're gonna go curve line curve line curve line mine are crashing into my straight lines that's okay curve line curve line we got to finish our bottom come inside do that little curve line inside if it's squished it's okay my mistake but there are no mistakes in art little curve line little curve line now continue these curve lines along the left along the right and if you can fit some little curve lines on the top if it crashes into something don't draw through your drawing keep going now I think we're done okay let's see how we're gonna color this in okay when you make papel picado it's usually all one color that's a traditional paper banner I however colored mine all in so you have a choice you can do what I'm doing which is making mine all different colors or you can make it all one color what we still want to do is cut it out and put it on a piece of black paper and hang them across the top of your classroom or your room see usually they make these and they cut out as paper traditional paper cutting but there's no way I have access to tissue paper or a knife that would work to cut this out so what I'm doing instead is I'm coloring it so it's a little bit different but still the same all right I'm going to work my way from the inside out that was my beige now I'm going to do my red and again the colors I'm using are just normal colors it's the combination that makes this unique and it's tropical color so I'm doing these two spaces yellow I'm going to do this space yellow inside okay and I'm going to do down here around all of these little guys I'm going to do this all yellow you want a unifying color to balance out the top the bottom the left the right so for the top and bottom I'm using my yellow to do that okay now I come inside I'm going to take a regular blue 
And if I have a black line, I'm going to draw the blue dark. Don't forget your bottoms. And then I'm going to lightly loop de loop around the center so it isn't white. Okay, so I go all the way around all my spaces and loop de loop this white, uh, regular blue. Okay? You will do a way better job than me. And, hello, you may use different colors than me. These are just the ones I chose. Okay, next, again, unifying color, I'm going to use this green, which I found in my crayon box, for the top stripes, all the way across. I'm going to use this green for my inner curved lines on the left and on the right these little guys right here and I'm going to use the same green for the little guys curved lines up on top unifying well balanced colors then to bring it all together I'm going to use this green for my bottom big curve line all the way across Totally, you can use a different color. This is just what I'm using. The main thing is, is to know that I'm using something that's very bright, high contrast, and I'm using it on my four sides so that there's some uni unity balance. And I'm going to come in and do this turquoise, blue-green. Kind of get a tropical flavor from all of this. Do my spaces right here hokey dokey then I'm going to use my red orange and high contrast it next to that green so you can really see the colors pop that's almost part of the fun of doing this project is seeing what color combinations you can do to make everything pop. Now I'm going to come in and use the orange, red orange, on my inner curve lines. I'm going to use the orange on my outer curve lines. See again, you're balancing out your colors. High, high impact, contrast, all the way around. And right here, I'm going to use these for the center. So that orange goes all the way around. Okay, next, purple. So I'm going to use my purple to do the, this space right here. On the right, on the left, so it's balanced. And finally, I think this is it. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow for my insides right here. You definitely will do a better job. Take your time, which I'm not doing. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Papel Picado traditional paper banner all colored in. My suggestion would be to cut on this outer line, mount it on another piece of paper, maybe black, and then hang them as banners around. Okay, bye-bye.